All right, guys, let's talk basic functions. What the heck do I mean by basic functions? There's a few functions you just need to be familiar with that when I say them immediately, your brain creates a visual of what this graph looks like. All right, let's go through the simplest one. It's called the identity function. All right, this is where y equals x or f of x equals x. All right, so for every x I plug in, I get that as my y. All right, notice how our x's and our y's match. The domain and range, it's a line. It's negative infinity to infinity. It's increasing and continuous on the entire domain. Okay, the squaring function, simply f of x equals x squared. So for every x I plug in, the y is squared. All right, this is the u, the smiley face, the normal parabola. All right, all these different ways of saying it. The domain is negative infinity to infinity, but the range, all right, runs from zero to infinity, all right? That's the only part of the y-axis that we're using here, all right? And the squaring function is continuous. The cubing function, for every x I plug in, I cube it to get my y, all right? So note you know, with the x, we do negative 2 cubed. What do I get? Negative 8. 2 cubed, what do I get? Positive 8. All right, domain and range is negative infinity to positive infinity. And of course, this function is continuous. All right, a lot of times people refer to this as the snake. Um, I have heard people refer to it as the John Travolta. I'll let you try to figure out why it might be called the John Travolta. It would require you having seen a movie called Saturday Night Fever. All right, the square root function. For every x, I take the square root of it to get my y. All right, and so to take, for example, 4 as my x, I square root it and get 2 as my y. If I plug in 9 for my x, I square root it and get 3 for my y. Okay, for the domain, my function only exists in the first quadrant. All right, and so my domain is 0 to infinity. My range is also 0 to infinity. Why? Because I'm only in the first quadrant. Okay, and the square root function is continuous. The cube root function. For every x I plug in, I cube root to get my y, okay? And so if x is negative 8, I cube root to get negative 2. If x is positive 8, I cube root to get positive 2. The domain and range, again, is negative infinity to infinity, all right? Why? Because we're in the third quadrant and the first quadrant, all right? And so I'm getting negative infinity to infinity. And again, the cube root function is also continuous. All right, the absolute value function, this is the V, okay? And so for every x I plug in, I just get the positive equivalent. So if I plug in negative 2, my y is going to be positive 2. In the same way, if I plug in positive 2, my y is positive 2. So that is how we get negative 2, positive 2, and the coordinate positive 2, positive 2. All right, again, our domain is negative infinity to positive infinity. All right, I'm, note I'm in the first two quadrants. This is where my graph lies. And so my domain, negative infinity to positive infinity. My range, however, is just 0 to infinity. Okay, and again, of course, absolute value is continuous.